going to go to this is the assignment for today. We have two two-minute videos to talk to you about net force. All right? And then you have this super fun worksheet. I actually kind of like this worksheet. Um, in these slides. So you're going to copy and you're going to put it in your thing here. Next to your beautiful Cornell notes. Paste. Keep the original style. Okay. All right. So there it is. There it is. Hey, does that look familiar? Hmm. Okay. So. All right. Here we go. So it's slide 29. So I'm going to come up here to my table of contents. Boom. 10, 8, 20. Double check what the name of this is. Net force free body diagrams. That's where I am. Net force free body diagrams. Because we're assuming that like that box is like floating in the air until these forces act up. That's why it's called like free body, because it's free to move however it is, however it wants to. Okay? Okay, so net force free body diagrams. And that was slide 29. So I'm going to go here, slide and presentation. And 29. Apply. And then I'm going to highlight this in the other color so that... You know that it's part of the new, the part B of the unit. All right? Um, so this is a grade in your notebook, which is a summative grade. 70% of your grade is the summative category, and um, but it's not a formative assessment in the formative category in Infinite Campus at the moment. Okay? All right. So there's that. So let's let's take a gander. Let's take a gander at what we're doing here. So I'm just going to have you put in the chat on on number one. Which way is it going to move? Do you see it? Here, let's zoom in a little bit more. Wasn't extremely helpful. So on number one, which way is it going to move? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so, um, yes, you guys are correct. So you might be wondering about these arrows here, okay? Now, think when you have an angle at, um, when you have a, an arrow at an angle, it's actually made up of two different force vectors, okay? So, and I will, I'll show you. So insert an arrow, <laughs> line, arrow, boom. Okay, so it's an arrow going this way. And it's also an arrow going this way. Okay? And so remember, length matters on these free body diagrams. It's showing, like Isabel said, the magnitude of the force, how big the force is. So I'm just going to do this. Okay, so here it's going that way. And another one. And then going that way. Okay, so do you see how these ones are opposite of each other, right? And do you see how they are like the same length? So if they're opposite, what do we do? If the forces are opposite, what do we do? Add or subtract? Put it in the chat, put it in the chat. If they're opposite, what do we do? Add or subtract, go.
Yep, yep, yep. Put it in, put it in. Run these drills, guys. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna subtract. So if this was like two and this was like two, whatever number you pick, two newtons, two newtons, you're subtracting them, zero. Zero net force. So there's not going to be any movement caused by these arrows, okay? By this direction. No movement is happening in like an up-down direction. They cancel each other out. But these arrows are in the same direction as this arrow. Do you see that, guys? Okay, so arrows in the same direction, forces in the same direction. What do you do? Put it in the chat, put it in the chat. Go, 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 go. Yes, you got this, guys. Okay, so then I want you guys to put on these diagrams. I don't expect you to put the little arrows, like if there's diagonal one, but I do want you to put an arrow on these free body diagrams, and it's, it tells you to do this, too. You can read more on the um, background information and things like that. And let's see, in the directions here, given the following diagrams, if no other forces are acting on the box, which direction will the box move? I want you to give your answer in um, with an arrow on it. Okay, so you're going to make the net force arrow approximately. Now, is my net force arrow going to be the same length as this one? Or is it going to be smaller? Or is it going to be bigger? What do you think? Yeah, it's going to be bigger. It's going to be bigger by about that much and by that much because they're being added together, right? Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to make this line with an arrow. I'm going to start here. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, that's about one of those little arrows. And that's another one of those little arrows. About, you know, sure. Okay, so, um, so that's my line. And um, technically, we'd bring it to the center of the mass, okay? So if you want to be absolutely correct on this, move it to like the center of the box. I used it back here so I could get good length on it, the right length. And then please make your arrows a different color than black, okay? So go insert, format or go format, you click on the, uh, the arrow, format, borders and lines, line color, and whatever. I like purple, so it's more pink. Mm -hmm. And kind of make it bright so I can see, I'm gonna go with red, just gonna go with red. Okay, so my net force is in that direction, okay? My net force is to the right. Okay, two, we already did. And so I would take, I would go insert line arrow. And then I were subtracting, right, the size of the other arrow. So about there. And format and red. Boom, move to the center. So then my net force there is that little arrow. And it's net force, we usually say is, we, like I said, you put it the beginning at the center of mass, right? Okay, this one's a little different. This the, one, what's sorry. that? Go ahead. For the um, arrows, putting them in the little red ones, is that all we have to do to answer them? For these ones, yeah. yeah okay. For these ones. Um, okay, so how about this one, guys? Ooh. OK, 
Okay, okay, getting some good answers. Let's see. Ian, I'm not sure what you mean by they would be the same. Like, I'm not sure which ones would be the same. Okay, up and right. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be just right or left or up and down, right? It can go, it can go diagonal, for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, so let's look at this. We've got, this one's a little bit trickier, right? So I'm going to I'm going to separate this out into the two force vectors that make it diagonal. It's about there and it's about there. Okay? So now looking at it, do any does, does any of these arrows are any of them opposite of each other? Are there any arrows opposite of each other? Any arrows opposite? Yeah, yeah, none of them are opposite. So we have this arrow, this arrow going to the right, and we have this arrow and this arrow going up. So if you have up to the right, yeah, you got it. So, and we can kind of add them together. So then this one, and then we can add it to that. And so now it's that big. So this is fantastic, guys. Okay, so now this one, we can make it that big. Oh, you should totally do it this way. This is fantastic. Okay, so up and to the right. So now, oops, it's totally off. Now we connect those. Question. Yeah. Now you so, don't have to do all this part. I got really exact. Okay. Just yeah. an arrow up to the right is totally fine. Okay. So does it matter for like the diagonal arrows? Does it matter which court, which like if it you're drawing it from the like below the arrow or like the above area when you're drawing the little arrows? Does it matter? Like, um. That makes it, sense. For like, the the diagonal ones to do this one? Well, you did it like um, to the right and then up, but could you like do it on the other side of the diagonal arrow and do up and then to the right? And would it do the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would still, it's still made up of the same vectors. Okay. And so they would have been the same size. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great question. Great question. So, um, so yeah. All right, this one, arrow to the left, arrow to the left. Uh, which way is the box going to go? Put it in the chat. You can do L, R, up, U for up, D for down, or any combination of the two. On your mark, get set, go. Yeah, it's going to go left. And it's going to be longer than that one, right? It's going to be with more force than this guy. Add those two together. Okay, so now with this one here, we've got here, here, and then there. Which way is this box gonna go?
What do you think? What do you think? Take a guess. Guys, take a guess. Nowhere. Okay, this arrow is going down and to the left. BT does. Down and to the left. Okay. Okay. Does anybody want to give it a shot? Like, unmute yourself and, and I, explain what they think? I will. All right, go for it. So, what I was thinking is kind of maybe the up and down, because they look like the same length, maybe, like, cancel each other out. So, the answer would be the down left. Yeah. That's what I see. So, if we assume that these are equal, okay, if we assume that these are equal, then they cancel right? Because they're in opposite directions. This guy is the only force left over. So he's the only net force that's going to matter. So in my net force diagram, um, let me do a line just here. Uh, There's a slightly easier way to change the color and insert lines and stuff. Oh. Up, um, like, on the little box where you see all, like, the printer stuff up there, where it has, like, uh -huh. the little line of tools, there's a little arrow. There's a little line thing next to the circle square shape button. Below a range. The little diagonal line, you can just click that and do arrow and then draw. Oh, yay! Fun. Yeah, and then it also has the option on, uh, on that little side to change the color of stuff and the thickness and stuff like that. Cool. All right, so then, here, let me try to do this. Come on now. Arrow. So now I can make my arrow. It's going to be the same as this guy. And so this is in, like, in geometry and stuff like that, guys, when you have the two lines on those, like a line like this on two lines, that means that they're equivalent, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If, if memory serves, you know, I haven't taught math, so I'm not sure what they're doing these days. But if memory serves, that is kind of an indicator that they're equal. All right? So, like, when you're working with geometry and triangles and things like that. Um, all right. And so, in this guy, and you said... How do I change the color? Um, the little pencil it has the little bar under it. This uh, one? Yeah. Aha! Right. Okay, so he is my net force, so I'm going to put him in red. And now I'm going to move him to the center mass. Okay? So that is going to be um, my net force arrow. Okay. So you're either making these arrows for the direction or you're going to describe it with words and you put like a box in here. So on here, on with these next ones, I want you to use, um, I want you to show your work, okay? So like this one, there's only one force. So, and I would make like, if you're doing them in order, then you could make, you know, one big, come on like one big text box. Hey, stop that. Make one big text box across here to do your work. But if not, you can do, I know in the instructions, like it says to make a text box for each one, but you don't, have to it's just helpful for if you get stuck you know so in here we've got four newtons and it's going to the right are there any other forces no so it's four newtons right so it's gonna go 
4 newtons. The net force is going to be 4 newtons. Right. And then we put the little arrow on there, right? With the same length as this on the center of the mass. Okay, this one. Okay, so we have, and I would, I would go left is negative and right is positive. I would just, I would have that be a thing and like, and then do the same with up and down, okay? Up would be positive and down would be negative. So you know what's happening. Okay, so I have four newtons right, so that's positive. Four newtons. And then I have eight newtons left. So minus, so left is minus, minus eight newtons. So that is going, oopsies, that is going to be a net force of negative eight newtons and our frame of reference because of the frame of reference that we can't have negative newtons really right we can't end up with negative newtons like it's not a thing that's just a it's an indicator of direction it's an indicator of the frame of reference so um the clear video it kind of talks about that a little bit and you could put these on on the other like rearrange them it's the same difference but it, Sometimes it gets a little complicated when you have a lot of different arrows happening. And so if you just keep that the negative means to the left and the positive means to the right, then you won't get confused when you have multiple arrows. So then that would be eight newtons to the left. So then you'd have your arrow, or sorry, <laughs> for somebody stop me when I'm being silly. So it'd be four newtons to the left. So I can take this, I'm gonna do it the fancy smart way. Uh, what did you do? Put it, and arrow. And it's about halfway. It is halfway. And then I'll change the color to red and move it to the center. Okay? Yeah, I want you to do the little arrows. They don't have to be perfect though, but I do want you to do the little arrows on there in a different color. You can pick whatever color you want. But just make sure I can see it. Don't do black or dark blue. <laughs> Make it easy for me to see your arrows so I don't like, make sure you use arrows, okay? And you can get all the, all the points, all the points. Okay, so we can see these different ones here. Okay. Ooh. That one looks fun. Okay, so I will be I will be posting a key to this as well for you to check your work. It's in, it's handwritten though, so you can't copy and paste it. All right. So work through these, have fun. Yeah, there's two little videos. Okay, questions, concerns, comments? Bright yellow, love it.